Now here's a little story. Now here's a little. Now here's a little story I've got to tell about two bad brothers you know so well. It started way back in history with a team of 39 hours they called Tackle Box Lottery. When he got back, we call him Officer P. When he was cool, we call him Professor Paul. He was really knowledgeable and on the ball. I have to admit, I could be off the wall. I like to eat chicken and I like to stall. On the real though, Polly's got the hot hand. Should they start fishing and go back to Japan? On his home water. He was so smooth, had to step back and let him ride the groove. I know a thing or two about psychology. If you provoke the stallion, we'll smash the competition most definitely. But that's enough talk about Professor P. Cause today we're talking to the code of lithium across the sea. NRX, the lava effects. NRX, the lava effects. That was a bit much, eh? A little bit weird. But whatever, it's different. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. I think that's why. Paul gets provoked sometimes. I'm a bit too different for him. <laughs> Without further ado, let's call uh, Adam Conrad the cockier of the twins. So if you can't tell them apart, just look for the cockier of the two, and then you'll know who I'm talking about. Here he is, the one and only, the cockiest of the cocky, my buddy, Adam Conrad. Man, these guys are legends. So lucky to have them here today. Not scuffed up anything. Let's scuff them up a little. How about now? I can hear you, Terrell. Oh, <laughs> my volume was down. This is good. That's quality vid right Are there. Are we allowed bud. to drink on this? Sure. Is it Red Bull? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how I know. I, I want to start. I wrote it on some serious topics here on a, a notebook. My producers told me, and my agent told me to ask you. Um, Agent? <laughs> I'm joking. You mean, your, you mean your wife? Yeah, my wife. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that that's comment alone agent. right there tells me it's Adam, not it Sean. Adam. You know why? You know I why? I could be Sean. No, why? you're Adam because you're well, cocky. I, I could have been switched you're, up, bro. No, no, you're way cockier. <laughs> I, no, I'm not. I wouldn't be. I would never admit that. Hey, you said that. It is clip. Nope. I'm gonna insert right here. You say that. You're so bad. I'm cocky. You're cocky. I'm my, cocky. My, ha ha. <laughs> that was so funny. That was the you funniest was crap the ever. What? Was when uh, when Paul said that. I speak the truth. <laughs> A wedgie with those things. Now, also records. Who has more and more records? You're you're your brother. Oh, here we go. Everyone, are you sick of this topic? Because I don't even know. No, it's okay. Like, um. Well, well, I had the first all tackle. All tackle. The forty-three six pound rainbow. Then Sean broke my record. With how with much? Forty-eight pound rainbow. Oh my god, this is insane. Like I don't know if people know. Like some people don't know, be like these twins have massive records to their name, like yeah, insane. And then the next world record was the bourbon, and we caught we caught the the forty eighth in two thousand and nine, and in two thousand ten, Sean caught the bourbon world record. He beat you again. Well, no, I didn't have the uh, the world record bourbon at the time. No. Okay. But he. So he did beat me. So you get the, <laughs> so you get the record most of the time first, and then he comes and beats it. That's exactly it. Like I say, I teach him my my tactics, and then because I'm the older brother, right, half hour older. <laughs> so he holds the provincial record brown trout as well. Provincial record? How big was that? Uh, it was twenty six pounds, but it was only 30, 35 and a half inches. And so far, what's the experience like this year versus the like I mean, this year's thirty nine hours versus the first one? Um. So wait, well, I'll come. Give me five minutes. Oh, there's your agent slash boss. Yes, that's my agent. Agent, get in the screen. You're gonna be on a video, and you're coming after my rap intro. <laughs> oh, Carol, you and your YouTube videos. They're ludicrous. They don't they even make ludicrous. sense. <laughs> Aaron oh, goes like, Aaron tells me it's just crazy. I don't even know what to think. <laughs> oh man, you're one of a kind, Terrell. Uh... Now for me, for me, this series, like they also, you know, people are watching and going, 
oh, it's not 39 hours straight, it's not the same. Well, it isn't the same. To me, this thing is worse. It was way harder. It's harder, right? Well, because we, we drove all night to get to our new spot, right? And then even even between the, the middle sessions, we drove. So I think during the whole thing, uh, uh, each of us got like three hours of sleep. And it wasn't good on the bodies by the third day. I thought it was terrible, like, because you're fishing, and then you have this two hour. even if you're on the same body of water, you don't just go and have a nap, you go, okay, we're going to go looking around, and, like, you're just on the water, non-stinking stop. I think that was Sean and I's advantage in the fact we didn't get night fishing was a disadvantage for us, because our night fishing is so crucial, but another advantage is that Sean and I work on almost no sleep when it comes to fishing, so that was to our advantage, I believe. And I don't know how you guys panned out in the later episodes. Because if just think about if we didn't get a big lake trout. I know. We wouldn't have the lake trout point right now. What a waste of time for us. That's what good. A waste, eh? That's what we were hoping for. And then I was just like, and then I don't think you guys even had it. I was like, and Paul was talking about going back for Lakers. I said, nah, man, we're not beating their Lakers. What are you doing? Let's just upgrade on these trash fish, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, so, yeah, we had to we had to wait to get back to camp for our service. So we had no idea what any of you guys were catching either, but we knew we'd take the lake trout. Oh man, that was lights out. <laughs> Unbelievable fish. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Like I wanna go to Cree Lake because I've never been able to fish in anything special like that. Like I don't know, man. That was crazy. It's crazy. Every sh- you just went to some random show, like how you just went to some the first show you found kind of thing and bam, or was it several? Uh, well, we never fished that area before, Shauna's depth finder. So when we first got out there, we kind of pit, we we went on Google Maps to find bays and stuff, right? And then we found a hump out there on the so, map. Oh, that was yeah. yeah. And like that was one of the main things of uh, when we had headed out there. Aaron was very strict on no guided trips. Like obviously there was no guide. We had no intel, no nothing. But we had the advantage that there's monster fish out there. We just have to find them, right? So, yeah, like if you watched our pre-fish, we found a hump in the middle of a bay, which is like 60 feet deep all around it, and it comes up to a hump, a rock rock bed hump. Of course, there's going to be fish stacked on it, right? Who does that go that big, right? Like you don't know. You could go there and catch a bunch of dinks. You don't know. Then all of a sudden, whammo. That's, that's why you use big bait. You could How exciting is that? Some, yeah, but the small ones up there are grabbing it too. I like, know. It's yeah. crazy, right? So yeah. that was pretty epic, man. That was a real epic fish for me. When I saw that, I was just like, whoa. So I'm a big yeah. fan. I'm a big fan of the twins. They're, you guys are so hilarious to me. It's like a subtle humor that, that grows on you. You don't understand it for a little bit. And then you're like, oh, man, these guys are stinking hilarious, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys well, told me, look man. At you guys, you guys are hilarious. So honestly, like my number, one, I'm a fan of the twins. Like I'm saying it out there. Like you're not gonna, I'm not gonna go do an interview with Jay and Aaron and say the same thing. My my favorite team is the twins, man. They kill me. They catch big fish, and they take points away from Team Manitoba. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and they're and Adam is cocky. <laughs> Or if you get some points stolen away from you, right? It could put you in a bad place. How long did you spend catching uh, a sturgeon and a gold eye? And then you get those points stealing away. Well, how many hours did you waste doing that, right? I don't and then terrible. you might have to go back and do it again. <laughs> right? It's such a drainer. <laughs> wow, no drainer. Drink. Give me 10 Red yeah. Bull now. That's what happens. Know, our, that's still... and I, our strategy is to go to spots that have giant fish, so we don't have to go back. We want to. We we try to secure our points, right? Yeah, Where smart. Where Manitoba in episode one, um, I don't know, but I have a feeling that most of their points have been stolen from episode or session one already. I don't know. Yeah, they like get the stolen, surgeon, right? The gold eye, uh, the walleye, right? How are they in first place? I don't know. They're they're cheating somehow. Yeah, they're getting some cheap stuff, man. I don't know what the they're stinking doing. fish finder. You How see the stinking fish their finder? Spots so fast? I don't know. Right? They're just like what? All of a sudden, they caught a uh, rock bass, and now they're getting moon eye and suckers. 
Paul and I are just fishing around in circles, like, oh, maybe we'll trip over the right one. <laughs> the no, rudd. No. Right, Something's going on with Team Manitoba, and, and we'll find out what's going on later on, I think. <laughs> but, you know what? Like, this show, honestly, to me, I'm most scared of um, in, in competition because of our waters and Eric's waters and how deadly Eric is. Like, he's out there all the time in that region, and he's fishing. And he does this for a living, and he's really has a thick skin and been calloused up and weathered through it all. Like, this yeah. guy's tough, and he knows how to catch fish, and he knows how to grind through, and I'm worried about him. Right to the last. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I always said well, that. You know, think, he could have it, he, like he said, the Browns, if you listen to his last episode, Browns are the toughest they can be at this time of year, so... I know, time of year, right? Yeah, he can have his downs and ups and two, right? Downs are hard, man. When the water's yeah. clear, like, they can be stupid and bite everything for windows. And then yeah. I notice when the water's, like, crystal clear, because I don't have tons, like, in my region like Eric does. So, like, the water goes crystal clear. His water is usually a little, ha has some color to it. And in Lake Ontario over here, it's, like, crystal clear sometimes. And if you give it, if the bait's a little bit funny... Like you're, it doesn't look natural, or you're going too slow. They can track the bait for too so long in that clear water. Like sometimes you gotta go really fast, like yeah. not even let them think about it, and they'll hit it. Or like super expensive Japanese detailed, you know what I mean? Baits, you know, what I mean? really natural. The live targets are a killer. I know the show's sponsored by it, but like live targets for trout and browns in the the Great Lake system for me, the banana shaped ones and the regular straight. Uh, straight smelts oh my yep. god like killer man so i think that's it man i think that's it i wish you luck in the rest okay, of the well, tournament stay cocky so, stay golden and stay yeah. cocky say it cocky, or gonna, cocky. That, <laughs> that 30 inch walleye crushed us even though we didn't say anything it crushed us pretty good though i gotta kind of get going here now though <laughs> Okay, go. We're going to the big W, big you're, Walmart. You're in big trouble. You're going to get a oh, yeah. beating in Walmart. There's cameras <laughs> there. Make sure you're in front of cameras at all times. Perk might be there. Perk might be there shooting a show. Yeah, <laughs> Walmart challenge. Go do a Walmart challenge with Perk. Get out of here. Okay, Terrell. Stay golden. Stay cocky. Stay <laughs> cocky.